Let's take off these two caps for the wipers and we're gonna have to remove the uh, wiper arms and then the cowl so that we can get more access down underneath. 14 millimeter socket, remove the two nuts. And either mark or remember where the wipers go. Pull the wiper arms up. There we go, set those aside. Next, there should be some clips that hold this cowl in place. I'm missing all of mine, so I'm just, there's nothing for me to remove, but take out any clips that are holding yours in place. And then these corner pieces should pop off if you just lift them at the right angle. There we go. Okay, there we go. If you flip it over, there's a washer hose that comes along here. You can simply disconnect this washer hose and set this aside. Now we have to remove the wiper transmission. I'm gonna start by unplugging the wiper motor. And there are several 10 millimeter bolts. One over here. One over here. And there's supposed to be one over here. Looks like that one's missing. And one over here. So four in total. Remove the wiper transmission. Set that aside. And now we have to remove this piece here. So I'll just take out all the 10 millimeter bolts that are holding this on including this bracket over here. I'm just gonna loosen this up, spin the bracket sideways. All right, take this out of the way. Now for this upstream O2 sensor, if you just follow the wire right over there, you can see the electrical connector. So let's disconnect that. And we'll have to unclip it off of this bracket right here. There we go. All right, so let's put our O2 sensor socket on here. I have a 3 8 breaker bar. You can use whatever fits in here. There's not a whole lot of room. Make sure the socket is all the way down. And let's try to break this free. Oh, there we go. Now, if this doesn't break free, a lot of times it doesn't, then you'll have to heat it up or run the car, but running the car will heat up the whole exhaust system, not just the sensor. So then you run into issues with uh, burning yourself. Obviously that's not good. Take this out. Now let's put the oxygen sensor in. Let's bottom it out completely and make sure it's snug. Okay. Has a little crush gasket, crush washer on there, so what you're aiming for is to just squeeze that down. That way it makes a nice tight seal and doesn't get any exhaust leaks. Okay, that should be good right there. Take this wire and secure it onto its retainer here, and then of course plug it in. Make sure that clicks. Now we can take this piece that goes underneath the cowl and line it up with where it needs to go. I put this bolt back in to make sure I know where it goes. So I'm gonna put that in and then just line up and start in by hand all the bolts that hold this piece on and we'll go ahead and snug them up. Gonna work my way from one side to the other. Let's put the wiper transmission back into place. Line it up with the mounting holes. Let's put all the mounting bolts back. Snug it up. And don't forget to plug it in. Before you put the cowl on, reconnect your washer fluid hose. Make sure it's routed through this little cutout here. Otherwise your wiper squirters won't work. And slide the cowl back in. Put in the little corner pieces. They kind of just snap in here. And if you had any push clips holding the cowl down, go ahead and put those on. Let's do the same to the other side. Put the wiper arms back. I'm gonna start with this one on the passenger side and just line up the marks that the wipers have left unless your windshield is perfectly clean. In that case, you should have marked it, like I said earlier. But 
I have uh, witness marks from the old wiper blades, so I'm just gonna line those up and then put the two nuts on. And once your wipers are positioned exactly where you want them, it's important to get them right, otherwise they will either contact the cowl or the side of the windshield. Go ahead and snug these up. And don't forget to put on the little caps to hide the nuts.